I am Joanne Everson. I am the Site Administration Manager for Skanska on the Humber Pipeline Tunnel Joint Venture. There's not many people who can say they've worked on a project as unique as this. Coxhill site is 1.3 kilometres from one end to the other, so it's a huge site. The launch pit is 210 metres long. Over at Cox Hill, we've got up to 14 wagons on turnaround a day. So we've got a vast amount of tonnage going out of the gate. You know, the engineering uh, that goes on in this project is, uh, is mind boggling. Uh, so the, the people that's involved with it, fairly good people. Actually, what people won't realise is that directly below us is a principal aquifer. It's, it's rock that holds water and that water is used for drinking water purposes. What is really important is that we don't uh, damage the aquifer by um, abstracting too much water and then causing salt water from the estuary to come inland. That will potentially uh, damage the aquifer for 100 plus years. So the joint venture is made up of the, the three companies. Uh, AHAC are looking after the pipeline insertion, Skanska are looking after the main civils work, and Paw are looking after the tunnelling work. I'm responsible for the temporary works design for the Humber project. Um, primarily uh, the largest things that have been completed so far that I've um, been involved with are the launch pit for the tunnel boring machine and the pipeline. Towards the very end of this field, several hundred metres away, it's the start of the tunnel portal. Two and a half kilometres has been dug already. and We're just over halfway. It's been a challenging project. It's the first time we've ever worked with National Grid on a gas project like this and we've had to work as a team and develop a system that can not only collect the data in the field via iPads and tablets, but also links it to the federated model. So it can be an intellectual model asset that handed over to Grid at the end of the day. This project has been an, a learning experience at almost every day. The specialisms of the tunnelling and the pipelines are something I certainly have never worked um, with. So it's been really valuable to see how they work and what um, that their side of civil engineering looks like. What has been a real success on this project is the um, ecological management that we've had to do. Um, in about what, a kilometre in that direction is the Humber Estuary, which is uh, one of the most highly protected sites in Europe. Um, it's legally protected, it's a special protection area, it's a special area of conservation. Uh, and it's a special site of scientific interest. One of the things that you have to focus on, which is absolutely fundamental to a construction project, is making sure that you manage the environmental impact um, and uh, you employ environmental mitigation measures on a project. And I can honestly say from being in the industry 18 years that this is one of the best construction sites I've been on. One requirement from National Grid was to uh, showcase the carbon footprint on the project and highlight where we can make savings. So it's really important when you're measuring carbon to get it into the BIM model. Uh, one of the key ones was the uh, launch pit at Gox Hill. We actually increased the length of the launch pit, but what that allowed us to do was shorten the sheet piles, uh, which meant that we used less material um, and we saved carbon and cost at the same time. It's going to be the longest um, and heaviest pipeline inserted within a tunnel under an estuary in the world on completion, which is quite cool. <laughs>